Okay, we're given that fx equals 4 cosec x minus 4x plus 1 and when fx equals 0 we've got to show that there's a root between 1.2 and 1.3. So how are we going to do that? Well it goes back to basically just thinking about the graph, okay, the graph of f of x. And if we were just to sketch that interval between say 1.2 and 1.3 what we're expecting to see is that when f of x equals 0 this will be when the graph crosses the x-axis so we would expect to see a change in sign it's going from either plus to minus or from minus to plus so in order to check that out what we've got to do is work out what f of 1.2 would be. Just see if we get a plus answer or a minus answer. So f of 1.2 we just substitute the 1.2 into here. Now we're going to be using a calculator and you don't have a cosec function on your calculator so cosec x is 1 over sine x. So we can think of this as 4 then divided by the sine of 1.2 and then we've got minus 4 times the 1.2 and then finally plus 1. Now you've got to be careful x is given in radians okay so make sure your calculator is in radians mode and if you work that out you'll find you get 0.49166 and so on. So clearly this is greater than zero, positive value. So we could expect the graph of f of x at 1.2 to be above the x-axis. Let's just say it's there. Now what I'm hoping for is that when I substitute 1.3 into f of x that I'm going to now get a negative value. So we'll just try that out, f of 1.3. And similarly if you substitute this into here doing much the same as what we've done there you'll find that you get minus 0.0487 and so on. So you can see that this is now a negative value less than zero so from our graph here we've got a value very close to the x-axis actually but negative. I'm just going to put it there though okay so our graph has crossed over this interval here because there's been a change in sign and we've got to be careful we must always say that the curve is continuous there's no breaks in the curve so we've got a curve looking something like that maybe but this point here will be our root okay our root here so definitely a root then in this interval and to finish this off I would encourage you then to say that therefore since there's been a change in sign so since a change in sign okay and the curve is continuous that's no breaks in it okay the curve is continuous or you could say f of x is continuous okay continuous over the interval, over the interval, and intervals tend to be written in square brackets, so over the interval 1.2 to 1.3, okay, then there is a root, then there is a root, and that root is called alpha, in this case, in that interval. Alright, so that root alpha then is going to be there, somewhere between 1.2 and 1.3. And we did it then by the change of sign method.